There is a police pursuit. This is in Broward County. We are watching a black pickup truck. Just a little bit ago, a man was hanging out of the back window. This is southbound on Broward Boulevard and Sunrise Boulevard. At this point, we've seen one person bail out of the truck. That was just a minute ago. Police still pursuing this black pickup truck. At this time, we are still working to gather more information about what exactly led to this police chase and where it began. Again, we do want to point out this is a delayed feed in Broward County, police pursuing this black pickup truck. We do know that there are multiple people in this vehicle. One man has already bailed out. Right now we see the black pickup truck. That is who police are pursuing. You see now multiple vehicles, at least one, two, three police vehicles in pursuit, weaving in and out of traffic. He just hit one vehicle, now going off of the road into the median. Law enforcement now coming from the other side, trying to stop this pickup truck. We are trying to see now where the vehicle is at this point. We see this is plantation. there on your screen, this is in plantation. Police are pursuing a black pickup truck, State Road 84, headed east at this point. The vehicle now just turned onto Orange Drive. That is right next to Griffin. You see that black SUV ram the back of the pickup truck. And then a Fort Lauderdale police car. That is Fort Lauderdale police that just sandwiched him in right there. We have the driver on the ground, hands down laying flat on the ground. This is in the parking lot of Wells Fargo. For those of you just joining us, we do want to mind, remind you this is a delayed feed. That black pickup truck now in the parking lot of a Wells Fargo. You see multiple Fort Lauderdale police vehicles there. We're still working to learn what started the chase in the first place, where it exactly it began and why. One person already bailed out of the back of that black pickup truck several minutes ago at this point. Yesterday, Miami-Dade police released these mugshots of the suspects involved in the pursuit. 35-year-old Joshua Perez appeared in bond court today following the ordeal. Perez is facing seven charges, including aggravated battery on law enforcement officers, resisting arrest with violence, and aggravated fleeing. His bond was set at $37,000. All right, just got out, just got out. Guys, roll tape on this. Thirty. All right, somebody just fell behind the house, cops behind the house, cops behind the house. All right. Fifteen. Ten. Anchor toss or right to me?
Mike Lorber live in Sky 5. We are near 103rd in Halstead, where it appears that a very lengthy pursuit that started off of I-57 and went into the city's south side may have come to an end. Three suspects reported to be armed in a uh, suspected vehicular hijacking. Look behind this home and you'll see this just happened about a minute ago where the suspects bailed out of a vehicle near 103rd in Halstead, got out, went behind this house. We saw one suspect tripping in the snow. The Chicago Police Department able to get one suspect in custody, perhaps a second one. Max, do me a favor, widen out and let's show how large this scene is and how many Chicago police officers are here. What we're looking at right now is the Halstead entrance ramp to Interstate 57. So at least one suspect in custody. Go a little to the right there, Max. You can see there's where the vehicle bailed. For those of you who get on I-57 near Halstead, you're familiar with there. So two offenders in custody, I'm just hearing in the dispatch. Not sure if a third one is still being searched for. Uh, at least about 40 Chicago squads were involved in this. And you can see the closure here of the I-57 entrance ramp from Halstead to northbound I-57. Have no details whether or not shots were fired. Again, the suspects wanted, according to the dispatch, for vehicular hijacking, they were reported to be armed. Three suspects was the initial report. Some arrests have been made. Just heard on the scanner that one weapon has been recovered as well. If you wanted to get back on the freeway, it would be a pretty tough uh, negotiation here. You'd have to make the left turn uh, in a hairpin. Uh-oh, uh okay, okay. He hit uh, kind of a cone there and has stopped, essentially. The CHP obviously right behind him right now. We're going to hold our spot. Hang on just a moment here. Okay, thank you for that. I'm going to hold the west side here. I'm on the south side of the uh, freeway here. 2.2, guys. All right, so uh, there you go. Stopped. Bear with me. Okay, I've got you both. All right, here we go. Uh, so the person has stopped, and you can see uh, the CHP guns drawn behind the vehicle here. And now cars are starting to stack up behind the CHP as they are trying to uh, exit the freeway here on the westbound side of the 118 freeway here at the bottom of the off-ramp at Topanga Canyon here. So let's see what this person decides to do. Hopefully uh, comes to his senses here and uh, gives up peacefully. At this point, uh, it looks like uh, still trying to work on negotiating uh, with the guy to get out of the vehicle here. But uh, apparently this is, uh, this is still uh, in an effort to not... Uh, uh, give up, I, I suppose here, but uh, you know the good news is that he has certainly stopped the vehicle here, and that is uh, that is going to be uh, a good thing for the general public here, especially as he was traveling at pretty high rates of speed on the freeway here. Don't know if he, was he rolling forward here? No, maybe not. But uh, again, you're seeing it as we are here. Guns drawn CHP uh, trying to get this guy to come out of the vehicle and give up peacefully. Guys, let me send it back down to you. Here we go. Okay, stopped in slower traffic at Nordoff. Okay, still in the vehicle then, still in the vehicle perhaps. Okay, so that might not have been the driver who was walking around. Guys, this is as close as we are gonna be able to get, uh, unfortunately here, so we're not gonna be able to get a better view. But uh, again, that does look like the vehicle here. Hopefully the police uh, are gonna be able to uh, get to this America's uh, tire right next to the US bank on Topanga Canyon here. So uh, kind of uh, awaiting uh, the arrival of, uh, can you zoom out to the street and see? What, they're okay, there they are, there they are, okay. Here comes the CHP, and uh, hopefully they will be able to convince this guy to come out peacefully. Again, uh, you know, the second time we're seeing uh, something like this, where the CHP uh, had this guy at the end of the uh, freeway off-ramp there, and um, the guy decided to take off here, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, okay, hang on, bear with us. Derek, I've got you there, I'm going to move west a little bit.
Okay. Okay, there we go. Driver, driver's out, driver's out. There's the red, and the CHP has them. So, wow, my goodness. Certainly some good news there. My gosh, I'm sure glad he uh, decided to give up peacefully here. Again, at the America's Tire, it looks like a female. Uh, it may, be, may be, in fact be a female here, but uh, again, in custody at this point right outside the America's Tire here on Topanga. Guys.